Hadley, what are we going to draw today? A Yorkie. Yeah, we're going to draw a cute little Yorkie puppy. It's going to be a lot of fun. You got your marker? <laughs> yeah. It's almost as cute as you are. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. You got a marker and some paper. All right, let's start. Okay. Let's first draw our Yorkie's eyes. We're going to draw her over here on the left side. And we're going to draw them kind of small. There we go. I love my Yorkie. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and then we're going to draw another one right next to it. Same size. Good. Now inside of this, let's draw two more circles. We're going to draw one in the top, top right, and then one right next to it that's even smaller. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here on the right side. Top right, and then another one really small next to it. And then let's color in the big first circle that we drew. Rule number one. Always add eyelashes. Always add eyelashes. I'm going to add eyelashes too. Indeed. And you guys at home, if you want, you don't have to add, add eyelashes. But I'm doing long ones. We're going to. I'm adding long ones too. <laughs> Good. Now let's draw her nose. Down here, we're going to draw a V in between her eyes but lower. It's, it's nose. Yeah, right? this is for her nose. And then on the top, we'll connect it with a little rainbow line. And then if we want, we could also draw little teeny nostrils yes okay now let's draw our mouth and we're going to draw a curved w we're going to draw up connect to the middle of her nose and then back down yeah good and then on each side of her mouth let's draw a little line that goes off to the side so she looks like she's smiling Yay. <laughs> okay now we can draw our little tongue sticking out also so, so uh, the letter u and then right down the middle, I'm going to draw a line. Yeah, good job. Now let's draw the shape of her face. And we're going to draw a lot of zigzags because she's fluffy and furry. So we're going to draw a line that comes off of her, her eye right here. And then we're going to draw zigzags that curve down. And cute. Yeah, and cute. And I'm going to do that same line over here on the other side. So we're going to look, make it look symmetrical and the same on both sides. Oh, I love yours. <laughs> She's going to be super cute. <laughs> Good. Now, in between these, let's draw another zigzag that connects them. Her two cheeks. It's starting to look like a Yorkie. Yorkies. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw her little eyebrows. We're going to draw more zigzags that go over her eyes and curve around. And I'm going to do one on the other side also. Yeah. Now, sometimes when Yorkies get their hair done, they get a little bow right in the middle of their forehead. Mm -hmm. So we're going to draw a curve that comes up on each side of her eyebrows. And this is going up to her bow. And we want to draw them kind of close together so that we can draw the middle of the bow. We're going to draw a circle to connect those two. <laughs> circle. Yeah, good. <laughs> It's a big circle. I like it. <laughs> now we're going to draw her bow. We're going to draw two lines that come out on the side. And then we'll connect it on the, we'll connect the top to the bottom. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> we're going to draw two lines coming out and then connect them. Now at the very top, we're going to draw the little bit of hair that's sticking out of the top of her bow. So we're going to draw a little zigzag that Sticks out. I like how much hair your keys have. Yeah. I wish I had this much hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now on her bow, the bottom of her bow, let's add a sideways J for the detail on her bow so it looks 3D. I'm going to do it on the other side also. Now we're going to draw another zigzag right here coming out of her bow that goes over her eyebrows. And we could just draw short. We don't have to draw it very long. That's the top of her head. <laughs> there you go. And then a short one on the other side. Okay, now we can draw her ears. We're going to draw a line that comes up, curves up, and then back down. I need to make it fuzzy ear. Good. I like the fuzzy ear. That's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Now we can do the same thing on the other side. We're going to draw another ear that's over here, curves up, and then back down. This one looks a little bit bigger. That's okay. Yeah. Try to make them look about the same size. 
Now we're gonna finish the shape of her face. We're gonna draw her little cheeks. We're gonna draw more zigzags that come down. This is a fun lesson because we get to practice drawing these zigzag furry lines. And then one on the right side also. Oh, she looks really cute. And then one on the other side. I like how her right cheek looks a little chubbier. <laughs> Good. I like it, Hads. You did a great job with your zigzags. It looks different than mine and that's okay, right? Because mm -hmm. what's the most important thing? To have fun. Yes, to have fun and to practice. Practice. Okay, now we need to draw the inside of our ears. We'll draw one curve over here and another curve on this side. Okay, now we're done drawing her face. Let's draw her body. Right here under her chin, we're gonna draw another zigzag, just the short one, and that's for her chest. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw her, the front of her leg coming down. Good. And then we're gonna curve it back up. We're gonna curve around and then back up. Good. <laughs> <laughs> now right here on her chest, we're gonna draw another zigzag. Just a short one, right at the top. It almost makes it look like a T. Now we're gonna draw her other front leg right here. We'll come down and it's gonna look just like this first one. So we'll draw a line right here, comes down to the same length as the other side. Then we're gonna curve back around and we want it to be the same width as her other front leg. Yeah, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna imagine her chest. So this line right here, we're gonna imagine it going behind and coming out the other side, and we're gonna draw her belly. And it's gonna be another zigzag, and I'm curving it up. Yeah, good job. Now let's draw a little curve at the end of her belly. And then we're gonna draw a line down that matches her front legs. And then we're gonna curve back around, just like we did for our front legs. Okay. It's a little skinnier than the front <laughs> ones, that's okay. Now let's bring it, let's come up about there. So I come up a little higher. Then we're gonna do a little zigzag on the back of this leg. Now let's draw her back and we're gonna curve around into her back leg. <laughs> I like your little bum, it's sticking out, it's cute. <laughs> Okay, now she's missing one of her legs, right? Yeah. We're gonna draw another leg back here. We're gonna come down and then curve back around and back up. And you could just connect it. Yeah, good job. <laughs> All right, now what is she missing? Her tail. Yeah, she's missing her cute little tail. We're gonna curve one direction and then back the other so it looks like an S. Looks kinda like an S curve. Yeah, and then stop, good. And then we're gonna curve back down. And then I'm gonna do zigzags into her back. <laughs> you did it, Adley. We finished drawing our Yorkie. <laughs> and yours is my favorite. It turned out so perfect. How old are you? Eight. Eight. You can be super proud of your drawing. She looks super cute. Now we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color her. Yeah, she's gonna look so much better once we color her. Now this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same color. You did a great job coloring your Yorkie, Hadley, and she turned out cute. I like her even more now that she's been colored. What was your favorite part? The little butt. Her little butt sticking out? <laughs> now we colored her Yorkie brown, and then we went back over with a darker brown to add some texture on the top of her body, and then also some shading around her face. Now she looks a lot more 3D. Yes. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Yorkies. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. Remember, it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like ours, because the most important thing is... To have Yes, to have fun and to practice. Practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.